came awfully close. And it just seems like a perfect organization for, for myself. But winning in a situation where you don't see the field can't be terribly satisfying. Either. Sure, winning any time is satisfying in this league. You don't want to play? I mean, you don't, you're not. Bart Boulder says he doesn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> Read you, the headline you don't, now. You don't have the desire to get back on the field no, I, full time? <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying yeah. you can be satisfied in this league winning. Um, okay. You're not playing. If you know your role, I mean, this, this locker room is so unselfish. I wasn't going to be the only selfish guy in this locker room, I think. Being a Raven, you understand that walking this locker room, it's more about the team than it is than any individual. And uh, you learn that the first day you're here, and uh, you know, I, that's why I completely can accept that role here. But you will have a lot of, you will have a fair number of opportunities to we'll go see. play, and go in as the compete for the one or be the one. We'll see. Like I said, it's only one day after, and a lot of things can change. We got the labor issue and all that, so I'm pretty much still just. Uh, Thinking about this last game, I haven't even given this offseason any thought yet. Hey, Mark, last year you weren't in that position, which you just said, but you weren't in position because you were under contract and you know, the offseason kind of passed you by. At least this year you will have some freedom and be able to you know, pick and choose and have the chance to have opportunities. Is that something that maybe not you thought about but that you will think about? Yeah, like you said, I think everything gets moved up a lot this offseason just because last year I was under contract. To get extended for a while, you know, into April. So I think it'd be for the better. I can make a decision quicker. And uh, like I said, I was happy here, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind coming back here. All right, hypothetically, would you be a starter on a losing team or a backup on a winning team? Depend on the situation. <laughs> yeah, you know, and every year, you you can't say that you're going to go to a losing team. No one expects to go to a losing team. Um, people can make predictions, but you like to think that you could help a, a losing team win. But every year. Every week, you know, you look at Seattle last week. I'm sure no one thought they were going to beat New Orleans. And it's just the NFL. What does this year do to do for you physically? How do you feel now? Obviously, if you played, you would be feeling a lot different. Yeah. How do you feel? Do you do you feel like you have, you know, refreshed your yourself that way? I think, um, you know, I never was, never had surgeries, or I've never been beat up too bad. Um, no. At the end of the year, I can still move, and I'm, I'm not the guy who has to go get three surgeries done. I've never had to do that. So usually a week or two after the season, I feel fine. Obviously, I feel fine right now. I just had my physical, and there was something wrong. And uh, I probably would have hurt myself getting out of the shower or something. For all the sacks you took in St. Louis at the end there, you, you got through those okay without any lasting, lingering injuries? Not that I know right now. I have none. Um, you know, you never know. 15 years from now, how you're going to feel. You know, like it's nothing major, which was you know, part luck. And, uh, you know, I just never had any of the knee injuries or major shoulder surgeries or anything. So I've been, I've been fortunate in my career with that. What do you expect as far as a lockout? Do you expect it to happen? Do you, and how will that impact? I mean, how does that impact you? I hate to, to make predictions on it. Um, you just hope they, they can get something done. I think both sides realize what's at stake. Um, I think it's a little bit of game of chicken right now. And, uh, you know, I, I just know from three years ago the owner's perspective. So, you know, I don't think anyone would be surprised if it. If there is. Yeah. Yeah. How much did you enjoy spending time with Joe? What do you feel like you impart on him? What did he impart on you? It was great. Um, I didn't know really anything about him when I, when I first came here. But, you know, I consider him a friend now, and it was fun to watch him get better every week, watch him prepare. Um, you know, his success isn't by accident. He's a hard worker. Um, you know, he stays latest in the building, and, uh, you know, he's a tremendous athlete for as big as he is. But like I said, it's, it's from hard work, I think. That's what you go tell people about Joe when you go talk to him. You know, if you weren't to come back here, that's what you would say about Joe. Yeah, you know, I was in the NFC for years, so I never got to watch the AFC a lot or this division. and. What you what you read is pretty much the perception you have of people, mm -hmm. and uh, now that I'm with him, I think he's definitely one of the more underrated guys in this league.